Good evening, sir. My name is Dylan Carson Teo. I'm doing about magnetic field of electric current, and the topic is about cyclotron. But first, we have to know about the definition of cyclotron. How it is used? How is it used in the cyclotron? What is the main important use of cyclotron? The cyclotron. It is a device developed by E.O. Lawrence and M.S. Livingston in 1934. It is used to accelerate. It is used to accelerate charged particles like protons and neutrons. The result in the production of high-energy charged particles in nuclear physics such as energized particles are used to bombard nuclei causing nuclear reaction. Suppose in nuclear physics, we bombard any nuclei, nucleus, we get two or more nuclei. Let's call, we bombard a nucleus and it's called, that part is called a nuclear reaction. When we hit the nucleus, we get two or more nuclei. Then, by making it cross the symmetric field and again the use of a strong magnetic field. Now we'll use about the construction and working of a cyclotron. This is the die. D1 and D2 are the die. And this is the north pole. This is the south pole. And this is the target window. This is magnetic field. And we con we connected these two die into the high frequency oscillator. Then this this point is the source of positively charged particles. Then now we'll move about the uh, construction and working of a cyclotron. Then Two hollow, then two hollow half cylinder are made up of high conductive metal are placed so that the straight edge will be face to face with a small gap between them. Now these two these are connected to two terminal of an alternating voltage source and filter. It will help in changing polarity. If the one is in the positive potential, then the two will be in the exact opposite that is negative potential at the same time. In this way, it will oscillate an electric field and will be created between them. Then this part. This is the electric potential. This is the die connected to the oscillator. Then this is the no, this is the this one electromagnet. Yeah. One electromagnet is keep above the two dies. Bottom electromagnet will have north pole, and above top electromagnet will have south pole. Then this will create a magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of electric field. This entire arrangement is sealed in a vacuum box. The is sealed. This entire arrangement. This whole entire arrangement is sealed in a is sealed in a vacuum box. This is the electromagnet. This is the electromagnet. This is a die. When the electric field is moving in this direction, in this direction, in this direction, the magnetic field moving in the perpendicular direction of the electric field. Then, when electric field is moving in opposite direction, when electric field, then magnetic field will moving in there. Uh, perpendicular action. That's why, because of the moving in the uh, magnetic field acting in the vertical uh, vertical line and the electric field will be moving in the horizontal line. Then now, because of the electric field, there will be force acting them. Force act on the charged particle. F is called the QE because of the force. The charged particle gets acceleration. Because of the acceleration, there will be more speed increase of the speed because of the acceleration. That's why we get there. So. So, since the D is enclosed container and the value of the field is zero, so force becomes zero and acceleration becomes zero. So inside the container there is no electric field, but there is a magnetic field and in the direction of the node, only in the direction of the node, but not in the south. Because there, there is no electric field, there is only magnetic field, but magnetic field acting only in the north direction. The charge, the charge particle now moves perpendicular direction with magnetic field. It explains a force in the direction perpendicular to the plane. The centripetal now the centripetal force is acting on them. Suppose this is the force, this is the point charge, and the, they will be moving in this direction. And if it's moving in this direction, then there will be radius. There will be radius from this part, from this part, radius from this part. There will be whole thing all is radius. Then the particle make a semicircle and comes to the gap. The time taken is t by two. Because of the semicircle, the time taken that's why is only t by two. If the time taken for the complete circle is t, then the time taken will be t. But for the semicircle, we have t by 2. Then when the particle was born, velocity is 0. When you enter the die, velocity is constant because the magnetic field constant and the magnetic field cannot change the constant of the velocity. The oscillator will change the polarity when it comes to the die. Again, come to influence of electric field. The electric field accelerates the charged particle to v1. When it's entered d2, the velocity will remain constant. Now D2 become positive and D1 negative. Suppose if the dice is moved, if the dice is moved, because when the dice from this dice, it moves this dice. 
this is moving like this that's that's why it's change in the polarity that's why when become positive in d2 and negative in d1 and the influence of the field the particle move from d2 to d1 because of velocity will increase to v2 when enters d1 again velocity will remain constant because of the magnetic field can change the velocity but the particles but the particles come with a greater semicircle because it will become with a greater semicircle because if it's under the die velocity will be remain constant and only magnetic field will be there but no electric field anymore when it dies only magnetic field is there no electric field will be applied in there if the velocity of the charged particle increase the radius also increase as tell sir as i tell it will be increased with, with, with radius because if this is increased in this part then this radius also will increase this part like this all this thing is radius every there is radius then after that then finally when the particle has no more space to grow a race is thrown out the window with such a high with high velocity the particle has high energy and it hits the target yes uh, it is the target here i show sir that when the particle cannot enter anymore in this dice it already feel in this die it will hit in this target it will be hit in this target and will come out from this target there is no place for the proton to come out from this dice that's why it coming out from this window and coming out from this window this is all about construction and working of a cyclotron. Thank you, sir.